This ghost has had a few too many. Posted to the ghosts subreddit by Best of Us, here is yet another haunted bar whose resident ghosts sauced up antics were caught on camera. Watch the bottles to the left of the bar. One bottle on the second shelf starts to nudge toward the edge. While a wet surface sometimes has that effect on items placed on that surface, it usually doesn't lead to this. After inching slowly toward the ledge, the bottle takes a sudden jarring leap knocking a second bottle below it off the display. This doesn't seem like a natural progression. Rather, it seems like the bottle was yanked from the ledge by some unseen entity. Many in the comments relate their own stories of haunted bars, with Redditor Your Dumb Idiot chiming in. I used to work at a bar that was haunted. Always the same bottle thrown off the shelf in the morning despite me moving it to prove it wasn't a ghost. While many, including myself, wonder what these bar ghosts could possibly want from us by throwing bottles around, Redditor Tech Impaired has one theory. He writes, They just wanted some booze. I see what they did there. There's a phantom haunting this women's bathroom, and she doesn't like being disturbed. Posted to the r slash paranormal encounter subreddit by Kiraxis, this entity was captured in a women's bathroom in Colombia. The footage shows an empty building at night. Something can be heard causing a disturbance in the bathroom. Estoy nuevamente aquí, en la puerta del baño. The security guard looks up and down both hallways. He then approaches the bathroom where he finds that the noise is the faucet shutting on and off. Se prenden las luces. At first, you think that could easily be explained away by some technical malfunction, but then one of the air dryers is triggered too. After a moment, a door from one of the bathroom stalls slams shut, and that's the last straw for the security guard. He flees the scene. Could this be the real life version of the fictional Moaning Myrtle? Whoever it is, they sure chose a strange place in which to spend eternity. This video of a Mississippi swamp creature is hard to see, but the payoff is worth it. Watch the circled area and tell me if you see movement or not. Baby. Now here is the same area zoomed in. You can see something is behind the tree, a creature whose oversized arms extend down to the swamp. It straightens its back as it sees the camera and looks to the camera. It's hard to say if this really is a swamp creature or just shadows cast from the leaves above. This is allegedly the swamp creature's face. If it was just a bit closer, we'd have enough detail to make a final decision. That looks like it could be the face of a creature or just some tree bark to me. According to this paranormal investigator, a genie cursed him in his own voice. Let's enter this haunted home. While speaking to the spirits of the place, he hears an EVP. When he walks into the kitchen, something disturbing happens. And then the spirit gets aggressive, but nothing is inside the room. When he enters the bedroom, he sees it. But as he gets closer and closer, <laughs> a 
Is this a magic trick? Well, it could be the genie himself performing a practical joke. I could also see how this could be faked. But then again, the knocking. Only a genie could disappear like this. Sparks fly out of the wall at an internet cafe and send everyone into a total panic. At first, it looks like they are trapped in the far corner. At 41 seconds, you can see it's coming from the damaged circuit panel, so there's no way to turn off the power. You can see that they are fortunately outside, but probably not standing as far back as they should be. If you speak this language, tell me what they are saying. <laughs> I hope he's telling the crowd to back up before someone gets zapped. A YouTuber named Xander H takes a group of friends to an asylum that was abandoned long ago. They come across wall after wall of graffiti and begin to wonder if people could still be living in here after all. What does it say? They, they see you. you. That's like some anonymous. Dude, it goes upstairs. Let's go up here. Go. There's not much to find on the first floor besides lots of written warnings and an overall bad feeling, so they decide to head upstairs. They don't even make it halfway before this happens to them. Something large and heavy stomps down the steps and sends the small group screaming for their lives. They don't get it on tape, but I still think this video is probably real because each member of the group is clearly on camera when they hear the running footsteps. I think there is a good chance this video is real and that they were chased out, maybe even by something supernatural. Jay Duncan is at home with his wife and daughter. When he looks out his door and sees a total stranger in rough shape, the man is having a fast-paced conversation with no one but himself, and he can't hold still for a single second. He's just out there, man. He just won't go away. When he finally notices Jay a full minute later, his first move is to immediately try the door. I can only imagine what this intruder would have done next had he gotten inside. Instead, he throws his hands up in exasperation, as if they have no right to keep their front door locked. He barks a series of threats and demands to be let in. I think he basically says he's through playing games with them, whatever that means. <laughs> They snicker at him through the door until he gives up and gets into a relatively upscale truck to leave. Obviously, if he has a truck, then he also has a warm place to stay, which makes me wonder why he wanted to get into Jay Duncan's home to begin with. I think that maybe this person might have been out of their mind and thought they were outside of their own home. If so, I really hope they don't come back when Jay Duncan is asleep at night and try the same again. The Rolling Hills Asylum in East Bethany, New York is weird. Really weird. So weird that it's classified as a paranormal research center now for ghost hunters. Liam Neville is exploring the haunted asylum when something strange and maybe paranormal catches his attention. This is what he's caught on camera and what's been haunting his memories ever since. Played in slow motion and you'll see that his flashlight is off when they see the mysterious light in the hall. Liam and his friend are simultaneously frozen in place with fear and ecstatic. I saw a figure at the end of the hall. So did I! Oh wow. my I definitely God. saw that. Yo, you saw that? Yeah. They claim to see a shadow figure in the hallway and I think I might see it 59 seconds into the video. What do you think? Yo. Yo. The ancient Ram Inn in England's Watton Under Edge is infamous for its devil worship and ritual sacrifice. YouTube team Ghost Raiders dives in to see if they can uncover any of this residual dark magic. Using paranormal devices, they try and get the spirits to communicate with them. You make the K2 reader go off. Oh. Okay, I've got a cat ball. I've got a cat ball going off. The spirit seems to be playing around. In another stony room of the inn, there appears to be a demon face escaping the stone. There. There is 
a face or what looks like a face but it is just obviously how the bricks and soot I would imagine have sutted up the wall but yeah it just looked like a face. It makes you wonder how such a face formed. Later while using the Estes method, Holly feels unsettled. Feel on the mask, like pressure around my, that physically being moved. During a ritual ceremony to free her from her demon, she becomes overwhelmed with emotion. <laughs> It seems to me that a spirit somehow entered Holly through the Estes method, only to be released through this ritual, and the feeling and release of the incident looks incredibly painful. A YouTuber named Ferris Wheeler is exploring an abandoned house with a friend. The first thing they notice is that the house is covered in flies and that all of the main doors are locked. After poking around some more, they come across the remains of a poor cat who must have gotten trapped inside. It's a depressing scene and definitely not the exciting find that they were hoping for. So they decide to leave. On the way out, however, they unintentionally record something watching them from the shadows. Good. According to Ferris Wheeler, this is the ghost of a child. If you look closely, you can see a short, motionless figure with its face covered by long hair. Then again, this looks like it could be some sort of debris or even a wastebasket. Let me know what you think it is. A YouTuber named Jonathan senses something outside of his home and begins recording. He doesn't make it very far before he finds the source of his unease staring directly back at him. Okay, guys. So. A small set of beady eyes in the darkness sends Jonathan running back into his home. I was positive it was just a cat until I noticed there are other eyes in the video too. Like when he turns around here. Maybe Jonathan does have an overactive imagination and was frightened by a neighborhood cat. Or maybe he really is being watched in his own yard by an unseen network of nightmarish creatures. There's more to this selfie than what meets the eye. Posted to TikTok, Dita and her friends pose for pictures, but someone else sneaks into the last shot. In the background, a girl is seen peering through a crack in the door. In other frames, she is not there, but then again she appears peeking around the corner. Is this just someone who wants to be included? Or is this a ghost phantom photobombing? Anyone who's ever pulled a prank knows that it can quickly go too far. No one more so than YouTuber FaZe Rug. In a prank video posted in December of 2017, FaZe Rug writes, Today I decided to do the scariest prank I've ever done, and we took it a little too far. She ended up crying, but the prank was a success. <laughs> What was that? Just how scary was this prank? Well, imagine chatting and watching TV with your cousins when you hear a knock on your second floor balcony window. Ryan had climbed a ladder to the roof in order to pull off this prank, and it proved successful as his targets jumped in fear at the noise. But that wasn't the end of it. Ryan next shakes the handle of the balcony door in a frenzy, causing the trio to race from the room. The door. <laughs> what is that? He hops to another balcony, slamming on the door as well. New, the girl being pranked, then calls Ryan, asking where he is and telling him there's someone outside the home. Ryan claims to be getting food and seemingly happy that he made New so distressed. He tells her they're on their way, donning a freaky mask. What? Ryan, where are you? Ryan, where are you? We're getting food, why? Ryan knocks on the window one last time before hopping to the opposite balcony and bursting through the door that they had previously unlocked. Oh, no! 
<laughs> Seeing the masked intruder reveal that he's actually their cousin, the boys laugh the prank off, but Nu looks clearly pretty upset about it. Would you be able to find this funny? Or would the stoking of your fear and adrenaline go too far? Next time you're wandering through a forest, look out for the trees. They might just be hiding duppies. Posted to YouTube by Javahan Ferguson in January of 2020. This video purports to show proof of a duppy caught in a tree. What's a duppy? Meaning ghost or spirit, the concept originated in Central Africa. Caribbean folklore in particular grasped onto the supernatural nature of the duppy. Many residents, in fact, claim to have seen them. The malevolent spirits appear most often at night and are meant to haunt the living. In the video, the so-called duppy woman appears to somehow be perched atop a tree. She is waving to someone or something beyond. If not something supernatural, how is this woman managing to stand or float atop a tree like this? And if she is a duppy, what imaginable malice does she intend to induce? Oh my God. This is a really humorous and random situation, but let's face it. If a wild seabird were to land on you, I don't think many of us would be able to take it with a smile like this brave cameraman does. He makes no sudden movements, not wanting to attract the bird's hungry gaze or its beak to his fingers. Believe it or not, I looked up pelican human encounters and found out that the sides of its beak are razor sharp, so this situation could have actually gone wrong quick. I don't know whether this pelican wanted to take some of his fingers or take a rest, but it seems to realize it's outnumbered and takes off. A devious Dora doll goes exploring this house in a freaky, paranormal way. The moving figurine is caught on camera doing some really weird things that probably weren't advertised on the back of the box. Creepy stuff like this. According to the uploader of this video, there were no batteries in this doll when Dora turns to face the camera like she's been caught. You must pay attention. But as one person pointed out, you can see the doll slowly turning its head for about 13 seconds before it snaps. The little girl is too busy singing to notice what's going on. Or maybe she's used to it happening by now. Then again, maybe there is somebody behind the door holding the doll in such a way that we can't see their hand. These flats are supposed to be abandoned, so who is in this window? Posted to TikTok by Scared to Death Zero, this crew is looking around an abandoned encampment at night. When they see movement in one of the upper windows, zooming in, there's no one there, but then they move their flashlight from the window, and the figure again peeks out from behind a curtain. Many in the comments are completely freaked out. Well, some think it's a squatter. Others are not so sure. They say it has no face. What is this thing? Would you try to find out? Avery is almost two years old. He's happily babbling away in the kitchen when his mother starts to feel a strange presence. This has happened a few times before, so she decides to start recording. Normally, her child is very quiet, but every once in a while, he will become very active and start having a conversation with someone who neither of his parents could see. Who are you talking to? Avery's mother finds this behavior very perplexing, so she starts to ask him over and over who he is talking to. Finally, after the third or fourth time, she gets a sinister reply. Who are you talking to? Her child looks over his shoulder, almost as if someone is there. When he turns his back to her, a raspy voice says, Ryan. Listen again with the sound up if you don't hear it. I guess this voice could be coming from Avery, but it sounds like it's coming from someplace much closer, almost right next to the camera. It almost sounds like a slightly different voice than Avery's. Maybe Ryan is a ghostly pal who is looking to make a new friend. So I'm hearing really weird noises outside and I'm kind of freaked out because it's late and they're really weird. 
A YouTuber named Shadow of Joey has been hearing some strange disturbances outside of his window and decides to make a quick video about it. He summons all of the courage in his body and makes himself open the window while recording. This bizarre three second sighting is what he finds. A shrill warning call fills the night as a dark figure scurries by his window on all fours. This could be some kind of wild creature, but the feet look to be in the shape of shoes. It's likely that this video is just a friend wearing all black clothing and covering their face. With that said, maybe it was somebody possessed, or even the rake, taking on its human form. Shadow of Joey wisely decides not to pursue the creature to get more video evidence, so we may never know the real story for certain. Just when you think you are safe, published in July of 2017, this major fright is of the natural variety. While inside a Maruti showroom, a raging storm roars outside its glass storefront. Wind, rain, the whole shebang. The wind grows more hostile. It looks like the whole showroom is going through a car wash. The store's employees and customers alike watch this wild weather, feeling safe and sound inside. But they shouldn't feel safe. The scary wind suddenly blows so hard that it smashes the glass, which shatters and collapses before their very eyes. And then it's chaos. Everyone runs as far away from the storefront as they can. People are screaming. Once the cameraman gathers his bearings and turns around to have a look, you can see water and glass scattered everywhere. People are still running around in a panic. They manage to cram themselves into a compact room near the back. From there, you can see it wasn't only the front window that shattered. Another to the side is broken too, causing crosswinds to whistle through the showroom from every angle. Ceiling tiles start to fall, and the whole building seems on the verge of collapse. I hope everyone here made it out safely. These situations usually end badly. This one, although extremely frightening, ended as well as it could have. It was February 8, 1977. Tony Kiritsis, a 44 year old man from Indianapolis, was set to meet about his mortgage with Richard O. Hall, a mortgage broker. Kiritsis wasn't making his payment, and a request for an extension was denied. Kiritsis was afraid that Hall would sell his property for the equity. After they'd gone in for the meeting as normal, Kiritsis led Hall out of his office with a barrel held to the base of Hall's neck. This wasn't a spur-of-the-moment plan in action. Kiritsis had thought this through. The barrel was wired to Hall's neck, while the trigger was wired to a ring he wore on his index finger. This meant that Hall would perish if he tried to run away, and he would perish as well if someone tried to retrieve the gun from Kiritsis. Before leaving the office, Kiritsis also phoned the cops to tell them that if they attempted to intervene, Hall's life would end. He then led Hall through the streets of Indianapolis to Kiritsis' apartment, where he held Hall captive for three days. Kiritsis' demands that his debt be eliminated, that he wouldn't be prosecuted for his actions, and that the mortgage company admit fault. This is the scary part that was caught on camera. Kiritsis alerted the news media that Richard Hall would be reading a statement that he, Kiritsis, had written. Hall could barely speak due to the strain from the wire against his neck. So Kiritsis ended up reading the piece himself live on air. His delivery lasted for 23 minutes. When Kiritsis got what he wanted, Hall was released unharmed. Police, of course, prosecuted Kiritsis, despite promising otherwise, and he was found not guilty by reason of insanity. He was thrown in a mental institution for 11 years. Later, he apologized for what he had done and said that he never wanted to hurt anyone. Thankfully, he didn't. This haunted nursing home will drum up some fear in you. Published by Sunny Deeds, Sunny and his team first encounter some strange noises on the stairs. <sighs> it sounds like movements and faint voices. Later, as they're reading about some of the nursing home's former residents, the cameraman scans the reception area and is startled by this large and somewhat creepy photograph. As they're considering whether the cameraman captured something in the door crack, a faint wailing is heard in the background. 
It could have been. Because I was moving at the same time. Anyway. Although the pair don't seem to hear it in the moment, they later think they hear a spirit and ask it to make the noise again. They hear a small clicking noise repeatedly. They never do find what's making that clicking noise, but I have a feeling it's no longer of this world. Emma is too afraid to come into her parents' room because she says she can see a bad man in there with them. When her mother asks to point where the person is, she indicates that it's in a dark closet which is open. The mother examines the closet. She doesn't see anything but she seems to get an uneasy feeling that matches her daughter's emotions. What, baby? What, daddy? Okay, go get daddy. The child turns around and freezes. She is too afraid to move without her mother following closely behind her. There's something about this video that seems very dark and genuine. Obviously, the mother felt a presence too, or she would have not uploaded this video with the title of Two-Year-Old Girl Sees Ghost Again. Overall, more information is needed before I make a final judgment, but let me know if you think Emma was seeing something that her parents could not on that night. A YouTuber named Stromedy continues to catch bizarre encounters on his drone. This time, he drives out three hours to a random field to see what's out there. He and his friend Ashton are expecting to find bears, but instead they chance upon a man walking all by himself, who immediately breaks into a run through the snow upon being spotted. They follow him for over a minute while he tries to hide. Then, in an unexpected twist, he blasts the drone out of the sky. I can even hear it. How far away is that? Yo, I Dude, think he hit it. Yo, he just he hit, hit the drone. It, bro. Dude, what it the? It's Yo. black. It just went black. Guys, the screen just went black. The muzzle fire looks like it could be special effects, but let me know what you think. Stromedy believes that this man was trespassing and took out their drone to avoid getting followed and reported to police. If this is real, then they most likely will not be able to catch him because his face is fully covered and they never find his car or his hideout. This toy is apparently possessed by a spirit who wants to imitate whatever its living counterpart does. Here you can see the toddler sitting on a toy truck, so the spirit decides to do the same. All around that toy. There it goes again, there it goes again. Yep, there it goes again, there it goes again. Orbs dance all around the yellow toy truck as its wheels slowly creep forward, almost unnoticeable at times. At one point, a larger orb seems to trace the outline of the truck itself in a zigzagging pattern. And maybe it's just me, but it looks like the child notices something too. I'm pretty convinced that this is a real paranormal counterpart, but I'm definitely open to other logical explanations, so be sure to tell me what you think is happening here. Imagine being alone in your house when a toy starts speaking over and over again, like someone is rapidly pressing its button. That's exactly what happened one day to a YouTuber named Melinda Wolf Miller with her child's Mickey Mouse toy. She bravely took out her phone and started recording. The toy makes some low noises at first, but once she says something about it, it apparently becomes very aggressive and starts growling in response. Something is in the toy box is possessed. It almost sounds like the toy is saying somebody in between snarling. I don't think that the two toys on top of Mickey Mouse are heavy enough to activate the bottom, so I'm honestly not sure what's happening here. A YouTube channel called Paranormal Voyages has one of the best videos of otherworldly evidence I've seen in a long time. This haunting video is taken at the Clown Motel in Tonopah, Nevada, a place where you can spend the night with over 2,000 creepy clown dolls inside while they are busy addressing any spirits nearby. One of the life-size clown mannequins reaches out for a ghost hunter and possibly makes contact with them. Watch its arm move on its own. Are you a text she looks back, genuinely surprised, only to see the clown doll smiling innocently at her, as if it's never moved by itself. 
I guess somebody could have been hiding behind the creepy doll to make its arm move. But if not, then this would have to be one of the scariest moments I've ever seen caught on tape. A YouTube channel called Meet the Vloggers goes exploring a haunted cemetery in the United Kingdom in search of an authentic ghost encounter, and they think they've caught a bizarre moment on tape. After a tight squeeze, the three of them are in and immediately feel surrounded by negative energy. First, we've just come into the um, haunted cemetery and we're going to have a look around. It feels really eerie, like really starting to get dark to a lot as well. We're staying here, we're doing exploring, She's man. So this girl doesn't understand what exploring means. One already wants to head back while there is still light to be had, but is quickly persuaded to stay. Night falls and their unwavering dread reaches peak levels. 100%. I'm really not. Oh my god, I'm so scared. What? One of them. Layla sees something ahead, but nothing is caught on camera. Aside from an empty walkway, no ghost sighting, at least not yet. Little do they know a fourth person is moments away from joining their trio. They take a few steps forward and Layla begins to freak out again. She must have a sixth sense or something because this time there is frightening paranormal evidence. This is so creepy. Come on, man. No, I'm actually bugging. A strange and mysterious figure silently approaches them without saying a word. Keep in mind this is after hours and they themselves had to sneak in through the gate so whoever this is, they are not likely a visitor. That leaves a maintenance or security, but if that were the case, then they would have said something to three people trespassing. Night has fallen and they are on their way out when they hear some really scary noises that prompt them to move a little faster. Across from them is a humming crying noise coming from some kind of candlelit vigil that they don't want to investigate. If they did, they might have encountered the scariest ghost sighting ever caught on camera. Many human disappearances can be explained, but not this one. Published to TikTok by Horror Talk, this is one of the strangest things ever caught on CCTV. The scary video shows two young boys walking a dirt path. Nothing is around them and they appear to be in a rural area, not a city. As they're walking, all of a sudden, the kid to the right is zapped into oblivion. His friend looks over for a moment and finds his friend has vanished. He then runs off in fear for his own life. TikToker Void Z notes in the comments that there is an X on the ground and the boy stepped right in the middle of it. Could it have been a teleportation route of some kind? If so, where did this poor boy end up? It appears something quite nefarious is happening here. This YouTuber is fairly sure that he's captured a ghost on his dash cam when he's traveling down a suburban road and sees reflective lights on the right. Watch the parked car on the right to see what I mean. I personally think it looks like someone could be stepping into his line of movement here. It happens quickly, so I'll play it again in slow motion. Let me know if you see it. But when he pulls up to where the lights were, he and his friends are surprised to find nothing's there. Where did it go? They walked in front of the car, right? Yeah, it was like a wheelchair or something. Both of them swear they saw the lights and thought someone was crossing the street. I guess his headlights could have been reflecting off of the parked car, but then again, the angle doesn't exactly seem to match up. Let me know if you see it and what you think it could have been. What did you say? Can you say that again? Right into the side of my thing? I heard you. A TikToker named Deadbeat TV is investigating a haunted farmhouse for traces of the paranormal when he gets an answer to his question in the form of a passing shadow. What did you say? 
Can you say that again? He is standing completely still, and yet something moves fast across the floor. The shadow is perfectly contained within this room and does not touch either side of the doorway at all. It doesn't come from behind. Something ran across this room, a low moving shadow with no body attached, and shortly after, this second ghostly shadow reaches out. This seems like something paranormal to me. Luan Mendez is a YouTuber who is unafraid to put his life on the line in the name of a paranormal investigation. And as this video goes to show, ready to explore the scariest local legends he can find, one such legend revolves around a dismal force known only as La Sinjora Fantisma or the Ghost Lady. The Ghost Lady is said to still roam the home she passed away in years ago. In life, she earned a reputation as a taker of lives and lived a wicked existence full of hatred until the very end. Her spirit is said to still reflect in the bathroom mirror. If you go in there and call upon her for an unholy visit, which is tonight's goal, they start by rather rudely calling her name outside of the property, hoping to get her to come through the window. She doesn't appear so they step inside. The place has been stripped bare, but overall it looks somewhat inhabitable at least as far as abandoned places go, but it's more about the way it feels than its aesthetics. Something about the small and cramped space that feels ill-fitting and all wrong, like nothing good has ever happened here, and only unimaginable horrors can befall anyone foolish enough to stay inside. They creep their way to the room where her legendary mirror hangs unblemished amidst the clutter. Luan stands alone while his friends keep watch. His tone is expectant and again, not very polite as he addresses the infamous ghost lady in more of a challenge than a request. They are all about to leave, but they decide to try to turn on the shower just to see what happens. To their surprise, clean water drips out of a rusty pipe that shouldn't work and doesn't even have a shower head. This was probably where she hung what was left of the lives she took, upside down and filleted open to drain in the shower. Seeing this broken shower work again shortly after doubling her powers makes them rethink their situation and wonder if they should have taken a nicer tone. But that doesn't matter because it's too late now. They are walking towards the exit and everything seems much more negative and dreadful than the first time around, more of a feeling than anything else, as if a great evil has awoken and is spreading across the otherwise plain walls. And that's when she appears, not when Luan tells her to, nor in the mirror where she's supposed to be according to legend, but maybe that's the entire point, her house, her rules. They hole up in the room for a while and discuss what to do, but the situation takes care of itself by the time they open the door. The lady seems to have proven her point that she is real and vanishes just as quickly as she came. This video would be easy enough to fake because realistically speaking, all they would need is for an older woman to stand in the doorway, which coincidentally is a lot easier to do than actually using special effects to get her into the mirror. For these reasons, I think this video might not be real, but that doesn't necessarily mean the legend itself isn't true or that something else wasn't watching them from the shadows all along. You may think you're alone, but are you really? Posted to TikTok by Tayasha, this one is bound to give you the heebie-jeebies. On what looks to be a stormy night, the TikToker is walking around an abandoned building when she spots this in the window. The dark-haired figure appears ghoulish, staring out at the passerby. What do you think this mystery figure wants and who is it waiting for? This has either got to be the paranormal or a very elaborate hoax. There's simply no in-between. It looks like this person is trying to do some repairs on their car. Maybe something's wrong with the air conditioning. Then I realize it's not a repair. It's a removal. A large snake appears to have crawled inside of the car. And the only way to get rid of it is through a game of reptilian tug of war. 
They struggle for almost two minutes and lucky for him, the snake is too exhausted to strike when he drops it at 1 minute 45 seconds. Most people look for loose change while others have to look for loose snakes. This is definitely something I wasn't expecting. It goes to show you never really know what's lurking in your car. It's the middle of the night and Anna Grayson keeps hearing heavy thumping sounds coming from the hallway. She spends a full minute walking around to make sure that everybody is asleep, which they are. As soon as she gets back into her room, the house becomes extremely still and suspenseful. I get the sensation of being watched here, do you? Anna does not feel safe at all, peeks under the door, probably half expecting to see shoes on the other side. She doesn't see that, but what she experiences next indeed confirms her suspicions. The fact that she patrols the entire house and hears nothing until the moment she steps back into her room makes me think that someone else is in the house with Anna and her family. Something that will patiently wait until everyone's guard is down to strike. The Franklin County Old Jail, which was established in 1818, is widely known for being extremely haunted and usually, it seems that whoever dares to enter finds themselves getting more than they bargained for. A YouTube channel named Paranormal Purgatory decided to venture down into the jail themselves to have a look around the place. The jail is eerily decrepit and worn down, something you'd expect from a 200 year old building, but just because it's worn down doesn't mean that the place remains uninhabited. Look at that. Look, you see the old rocking horse in there? Mm -hmm. Nobody see. Go in there. Nobody see. Go in there. Nobody see. Go in there. Did you hear that? I heard that too. It's, a so next to the that. bed here, I do kind of see what they're talking about here. If you just focus on the bed, there appears to be just kind of this shadow and then it almost seems to take off to the right here. Old rocking horse in there? No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. Did you hear that? Oh, right there. Okay, I, I now see exactly what they're talking about. So there's going to be a flash of light. So it, it looks like it's like a head and kind of a torso. And there's that flash of light. And then it looks like it just sort of pops right up. It happens so quickly. I should play this in slow motion. Right here. Don't you see that? And then it just pops right up just in the, the split second that it's shown in the light. Even though the crew behind the channel had only just started to look around the jail, little did they know that they didn't need to look any further for signs of paranormal life, as you can make out what appears to be some sort of shadow figure right next to the bed, which vanishes just as quick as it appears. During the rest of the video, the crew explores the remaining areas of the jail but are ultimately unable to find any other signs of paranormal activity, even still though seeing this shadow figure in person during an investigation would be enough to terrify anybody. YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series explored the Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary, where they found they were not alone. The cameraman explains that while exploring the various cells, he started hearing things. Went to go do uh, that talk with George. And I had to go move the van while I didn't know where the hell you guys went. So I, I walked around every one of these cells. And I got into here, and this was the first time walking in here, and I got... Then a series of crazy things happen. I just had a cold breeze go by me. I know you've had a lot of groups in here, people in here with equipment. Here are some of those same events from another angle. While the singing is disturbing, it sounds like mechanical screaming of some kind to me. It's very repetitive, like the whining of machinery, but this image gives me the creeps. You come closer.
I think this place is 100% haunted. This ghost sighting in Saudi Arabia has people praying for his safety in the comments. While alone in his room, a YouTuber named Ramadella Rosa captures a ghost in the reflection of a picture on the wall. If you look closely, you'll see it appears to be wearing a hood, and the lower jaw is moving like it has something to say. Ghost or not, there's definitely some kind of bizarre movement going on here. I don't think it's anything he's doing because he's sitting on the floor and the angles don't match up. So with that in mind, what is it? Austin Jones is a YouTuber turned pop singer who got into a lot of trouble over his numerous improper online relations with fans under 18. It all started in 2015 when he confessed to frequently asking teenage girls to make dance videos for him. I used to ask fans for twerking videos. It's not something that I'm proud of. It's not something that I think is right, and I shouldn't have done it." The 16-minute apology video goes on to make some clarifications about the rumor. Nothing ever went further than twerking videos. They were never The confession concludes with Austin Jones claiming to be a better person who has learned from his mistakes. Two years later, however, he was arrested by Chicago police for pretty much the exact same thing, except it was even worse than we all thought. Multiple fans soon came forward and told authorities that Austin Jones had inappropriate interactions with them online. One girl said she made 25 videos for him, eight of which were very mature in nature. Since then, police have searched his computer and charged him with two counts of producing underage materials. The case is still currently underway and the former pop star is confined to his home in the meantime. Unable to use the internet by court order, he has not uploaded in over a year. Built around 1635, the Pithertsy Castle is said to be one of the most haunted places in Ukraine. Take a look at some of the best paranormal evidence ever taken out of the creepy castle. <laughs> Andriana! Andriana! A ghostly figure appears in the window and waves at them before mysteriously disappearing. It's not a reflection of clouds because of how quick it fades in and out. The person filming calls out the name Adriana, who I think was the name of one of the king's many wives hundreds of years ago, and whose life was possibly taken by him. Or it's just good editing. Hard to say. This place is said to be absolutely flooded with supernatural forces, so who knows? Christina Carr is all alone in her old attic in New Jersey, but she feels like she is constantly being watched. She invites anything lurking in the shadows to make its presence known. Is anybody in here with me? It isn't long before she gets a response. No. Goodness. She does not hear it at the time, but the disembodied voice of an older woman timidly asks hello. The voice sounds alarmed and confused, almost like it's asking for help. Christina continues to poke around the attic asking questions until she gets another potential sign in the form of distant sirens. Store a few things, that's all. I hear some kind of alarm. Let me know if you think this alarm was just a coincidence or if you think a paranormal presence was somehow trying to warn Christina to stay away from the attic. Shand Ali Jot is a ghost hunting fashion model with a YouTube channel based out of Pakistan. Look what happens moments after he is caught on camera getting chills. <laughs> A low-flying bat distracts them long enough to turn their back to a boarded-up window. Something bangs on this barricade from the other side. They stand in the center of the room more than an arm's length away from everything in sight. Where are you going? 
The ghost always seems to wait until their back is turned before it throws open a door or a window. They put a scroll in front of the fireplace, and the evil spirit sets the parchment on fire out of disapproval. The way it goes out is just as unnatural as the way it begins. None of them did anything to cause this that I can see. It's as if it spontaneously combusted. As they examine the door, this YouTuber is thrown into the wall by a paranormal force. It doesn't look like he jumped into the wall either. His head is up and his arms are down as if he's being held by the neck as he lays gasping on the ground. One of their cameras captures the fireplace silently roaring back to life like it's feeding off of their fear. Meanwhile, this final ghost sighting is caught on tape in the far corner of the room. It might be edited, but based on all of the other creepy paranormal evidence, I wouldn't be surprised if it was real. Gothboy Prince is back with a pair of extra creepy dolls caught moving on tape. This paranormal evidence is beyond creepy and it's downright terrifying. Right back up the red. He orders the dolls to make the ghost meter move all the way to red. The ghost meter changes color and one of the dolls is caught moving on camera at the same time. Oh, moved. Take this. Look, 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 look. I'm scared. All right. At 17 seconds, a ghost orb appears to move out of the doll's foot while their paranormal equipment continues to go crazy. A final scary moment is when Gothboy Prince wraps his hands around the doll in hopes of provoking a response. It works because the ghost meter keeps blinking until the exact moment he breaks contact, at which point the meter stops moving and stays off. Despite this strange encounter, Gothboy Prince says in the comments that he lets the doll sleep near his bed. I can't tell if he's joking or not, but I guess he isn't afraid of being watched or even potentially possessed. Ball lightning are luminescent phenomenons usually linked to thunderstorms. The rare anomalies have been recorded throughout history in various sizes, from the size of a pea to several feet wide. The following clip appears to capture this phenomenon. Published to YouTube by Roman Tregubov in August of 2016, the so-called lightning fireball was captured in Russia at the edge of a field. Stormy weather darkens the sky as the fireball moves slowly across the horizon. Surrounded by blue lights, the ball flares up randomly and disappears behind some tall trees but is still visible beyond. Although some are sure this is ball lightning, YouTuber Jason W suggests an alternative theory in the comments, to which others agree. He writes, That's an arc of electricity going across two different phases on a power line. Not that weird, but pretty cool to witness as long as you're far away. The Redditor claims that there are no power lines in this area to validate this explanation, but again, it's hard to tell from this distance. What do you think? Do you agree with Roman or Jason? Either way, this brilliant ball of light would be a crazy sight to encounter. Who's sitting in this chair? YouTuber Mods Gaming captured a ghost of rockin' on camera. Watch the rocking chair. I think the chair rocks too purposefully and for too long to have been knocked before starting to record. I also don't see any fishing line or something else that could debunk this. It looks to me like someone is sitting in the chair, actively rocking it back and forth. My guess is it's grandma. Come back to visit. 
Is this creature a Nina Pero like the Spanish speaking YouTube community thinks, or is it something even more nefarious? This video was taken in Mexico. This creature is seen scrambling down the sidewalk on all fours, and not just for a brief moment. Other security cameras capture it, continuing the four-legged walk all around the premises. It is seen scrambling around the building and navigating a narrow alleyway beside the home. While most in the comments are confused about what is going on here, a redditor writes, Somehow this is way more unsettling than all the cryptid clips I've seen. Cryptid or not, it certainly makes you feel uneasy. Something is watching Sunny and CJ during this Randonautica horror exploration, published in May of 2021. Sunny Deeds writes, On this adventure, CJ and I traveled back to the haunted Pokemoke Forest for another Randonautica adventure. We never expected this to happen. The this that Sunny is speaking of unfurls in the darkness. They tell Randonautica to bring it on and throw it at us and are sent by the app to near a cemetery. As Sunny and CJ are outside their vehicle, an eagle-eyed commenter catches hidden people watching them. He writes that one is behind the bent branch over the ditch while the other appears to be recording them back with his or her own camera. Later, you can hear someone walking around if you listen closely. <laughs> Shortly after, something is being smashed in the distance. That something turns out to be CJ's car window. What the f was that? What was that? When the pair return to their vehicle, they find the back window obliterated. It's absolutely shattered with no clear sign as to why. There is a sign, however, as to how. A brick sits amidst the broken glass while the pair scream into the wilderness, asking who's out there. Sunny scans around. Briefly, you can see a light flash in the distance. It's still, it's still, it's still cracking or something. Oh my God. Do we have the answer to who as well? Something is definitely out there, but what he wants only Randonautica knows. A man is riding down a poorly lit Indian highway when they barely avoid a pedestrian who is staggering in the middle of the road. Yet when he turns around seconds later, the man is nowhere to be found. Now he is determined to find the man again. He turns back around and retraces his steps for almost a full minute. Then he realizes he's all gone, grows extremely uncomfortable and speeds away. The only non-paranormal explanation I have is that maybe the pedestrian got scared and hid when he saw the motorcycle turn back around. Let me know if you think that's what happened or if this was a genuine highway ghost encounter. Security footage shows a man letting his guard down while inside a scary looking warehouse building. Big mistake. One of the chairs moves by itself and he stares at it, too terrified to react. That's when the chair scoots forward again and then they all fall down, even his own. I can't explain what the mysterious dark figure in the background of this video could be. Hopefully it's not a shadow person silently watching from one floor above. A dog barks in the distance at an alleged ghost seen floating around a woman's college in Asensol, India. It kind of looks like they are floating in midair at first, but I think they are probably walking across a rather thin branch. I think I see them grab onto the tree for support at 6 seconds into the video, so I can't agree for certain that this is an actual ghost. A couple of friends are driving around late at night, probably just to unwind for the day and have a good time with one another. During the drive, one of the guys in the car says that he thinks he saw some sort of animal, like a buck wandering around in the bushes right next to them. It almost seems like they are about to get out of the vehicle to take a closer look, but as you'll find out why in just a second, it's a good thing they didn't. Uh, I think I thought I seen a big buck or something. Wait, wait, stop right there. What is that? Is it a buck? What is that? Dude, that's oh not a 
what the heck? Look how big its arm span is, like arm, arm, upper torso, and then the middle part of its torso just looks so thin along with its legs. Like it's just so built on just like the upper part of its body here. It's just super, super bizarre. Yeah, and its skin almost look gray. One more time here. You seen a big buck or something? Wait, wait, stop right there. What is that? Is that a buck? What is that? Dude, that's what a... Wait, wait, stop right there. What is that? Is that a buck? What is that? Dude, that's what a... Besides the obvious creature jumping in the woods that oddly resembles the urban legend The Rake, a lot of people in the comments are confused as to where the YouTube channel Paranormal News received this video because the channel is Russian owned, but as you can tell, the men in the video are very much so American. Regardless of who it was filmed by though, this is one creature you would never want to see. Even if it is fake, it would startle you, especially this late at night. When a drone drifted over the residential area in Overland Park, two boys on bikes spotted it overhead, and that's when they jumped off their bikes to have a go at it. You can see one of the kids pick up something, which is presumably a rock in order to ready aim and fire at the drone, but it's much too high to actually knock it down. The kids follow it for a while, but don't come close enough to truly threaten it, although they do make a valiant effort to do so, chucking a rock or two its way. Eventually they give up, but the drone doesn't. It continues to follow them for a good 8 minutes with the boys getting fed up enough every now and then to stop and throw more rocks. Certainly a scary encounter for both parties involved. A Facebook user named Andrea Collins believes one of her security cameras caught a ghost late in the afternoon on March 22nd of this year. And after taking a look at the evidence for myself, I think she's right. Ordinarily, I would say that this is a bug crawling across the camera, except in this case it looks like a little ghost girl with a white dress and long black hair. It's also positioned perfectly in the middle of the screen, exactly where a human would stand. So my bet is that this is an apparition seeking help, or at least some attention. And if this is what Andrea sees in her yard, then chances are her house is haunted too. A woman haunts this old house, and these paranormal investigators are about to meet her. Published by Thiago Ferracao, he and his partner are exploring this haunted home. When they are greeted by this, their EMF meter is going full throttle as they look back at the doorway terrified. It's you! They follow the phantom woman into this room, but they find no one. Still, their EMF meter is full. There's a crack in the wall in this room, and Thiago instinctively heads towards it. Setting her camera there, she captures the woman again. Would you remain in this home with such a reclusive figure? Or is it time for these two to leave her to her ghost town? A CCTV gym camera captures this slow-moving white object at 6 in the morning. The strange shape appears to float in mid-air and even slightly changes form at times. Paranormal or not, experts have been ultimately unable to determine the source of this fluttering figure. I guess it might be a piece of lint or something that got stuck on the lens of the camera, but the way it slowly sways without going anywhere makes me think that this really could be a classic haunting. Rian Silver is a paranormal explorer who searches every abandoned house that he can find in the hopes that it's haunted by a djinn for him to catch on camera. Most of his videos have absolutely nothing paranormal in them, seemingly an abandoned house with nothing in it, just 20 minutes of creeping around empty room after room. But one of his scariest videos of all is paranormal beyond belief and has left him seriously creeped out ever since. He calls it the real horror house. Here's why. A strange sensation leaves him shaking before he's even cleared the main floor. The real horror house is different. 
from any place he's ever been before. It feels truly haunted. At two minutes and eight seconds, a pair of glowing eyes stares at them from the window. It's not a cat. Nine seconds later, this creature with glowing eyes is seen outside the doorway. As they are leaving the room, a faint groan is heard behind them. As they reach the top of the stairs, they see another shadow figure that dips into the doorway upon their approach. They pursue and the weirdness follows close behind. A sudden chill gives Riyan raised goosebumps. He's showing them to the camera when all of the sudden. Bone chilling laughter now fills the abandoned house. I was thinking maybe it's people playing outside, but who would be playing in the middle of the night by an abandoned house? I think it's coming from inside and very close by. <laughs> Things get even more creepy when they reach the basement. Down here is where they find a single square opening to a secret hidden holding room with no way out. It looks like somebody might have been kept in this secret room for a long time. Riyan doesn't dare climb in, but who knows what they would have discovered if he did. Could something in this creepy room also be the source of whatever's haunting this abandoned building? When they record inside, this freaky EVP is what's caught on camera. <laughs> A tiny voice screams up at them from within, very faint but unmistakable when you hear it. Is this the final resting place of someone who fell in and can't get out? I think that might be the case. Chris Hopkins goes exploring a haunted mental asylum close to 3 a.m. called Forest Haven. As the name implies, they have to cut through a forest on foot to get there, and that's when their troubles begin. Somebody. Yeah. We're walking down the trail. We just we started someone right over there. Chris turns on his flashlight and soon sees a mysterious light in return. They play flashlight tag for a while until they discover a group of other people who, while friendly, claim to be ghost hunters on a quote unquote another mission. Yo, we just, we just met up with these guys. Hey, <laughs> yo, these were some of the guys we were gonna hear. Actual ghost hunters, but we on another mission right now. They don't think much of the comment and join together to go exploring the abandoned mental hospital. As they get to talking, the strangers kneel down and show what their special mission really is, to take copper from wires and sell it for money. That's when it occurs to them that they are around some shady people in an abandoned building who have sharp instruments and are looking for valuable equipment, like their expensive cameras. Thinking fast, Chris walks back to get his friends. Dude, come out here and listen to all these birds. Listen to all these birds. They don't say a word and awkwardly walk away, which is the right choice. Who knows what would have happened to them if they stayed around. Winter time should be relatively snake free, yet here one is slithering across the ice in the middle of February. The cold blooded reptile somehow crosses the frozen pond and then moves towards the camera with slow determination. I'm not sure what type of snake this is or how it's able to survive these low temperatures. My guess is it was probably hibernating somewhere and got disturbed, but either way, a snake of this size is nothing to mess with no matter what the season. 
This video was taken somewhere on Kent Island in Maryland. If there are any more winter snake sightings in this area, then I'd say something strange is definitely going on over there. Are apps the best method by which to gauge the paranormal around us? Published by QTube in August of 2021, these guys are freaking out after seeing something sitting in a chair in their home via an app filter. They note that another chair nearby looks completely normal, but when scanning the chair next to it with the filter, it's red hot with energy. Oh, and this chair isn't. Look, this one's fine, but you can go on this chair. Someone is sitting on this chair, guys. They're sure that someone is sitting in this chair. Is technology finally allowing us to engage with the invisible energies around us, or is the filter just glitching? I think they should try using a thermal camera in this room. It might just reveal more than what we saw here. A YouTube channel called The Scories has been receiving constant harassment from Project Zorgo for some time now. Nobody knows exactly what Project Zorgo wants from them, so they teamed up with some other YouTubers who have been targeted as well to get to the bottom of the situation. It isn't long before they find a mysterious folder on their laptop that none of them have ever seen before. Obviously, it was placed there recently by somebody who wanted it to be discovered. The title of the folder is simply called Hacker. They are afraid to click on the folder at first, but finally they decide that it must be done if they want to solve anything. Inside are a bunch of aerial photos taken of them a long time ago. That is so weird. That's literally we're vlogging right there. Look, it's moving, it's moving, it's Wait, moving. What? If this is real, then it's clear Project Zorgo has been watching them for quite some time. As if this wasn't enough, Project Zorgo has since demonstrated its ability to take complete control over their channel whenever they want. We have successfully taken control of the Scories channel. You will only be able to watch the videos we allow you to watch. Exactly what Project Zorgo has in store for this channel is anyone's guess, but based on their past activity, I doubt it's anything good. Last thing you'd want for your Burger King chicken nuggets is a ghost playing with them, but we don't always get what we want. YouTuber Karaoke Batman shares the security footage of a supposed phantom playing around in this Burger King kitchen. Watch behind the worker. Like. Something threw a basket of chicken nuggets from the counter behind him. Watch again closely. <laughs> oh my god. Like. Since we can't see where the basket of nuggets fell from, I don't know if it simply toppled over or if some mysterious being threw it. I think we'd need further evidence of ghostly activity to draw any sort of conclusion on this one. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.